Yo, what is up everyone? Bolts Gaming here today, and today we are going to be playing some more Project Flight. And today, as you guys saw by the thumbnail, I'm going to be showing you guys how to butter planes. So, I know a lot of newer people to the game may not be as familiar with the game, and they may find it decently hard to butter. Now, today I'm going to try to show you guys how to butter, and hopefully this helps you guys out, as um, this could have very well helped me out. So, today... We're going to probably be using an aircraft with two landing gears, but I will be using one with one landing gear, such as the smaller aircraft, in another uh, video. But as of now, we're going to be using uh, larger aircraft, because these are the easier ones to butter. So, the harder ones to butter will always be the ones with the singular landing gear, so if you don't have any with, like, if you don't have any of the Robux planes, then try to use the McDonnell Douglas 11, um, as that one's not too terribly hard either. Uh, that's the really, that's really the only easy plane to use to butter. You can, uh, um, yeah, that's really it. Um, the best plane I would suggest for buttering is the A330. It's known as the Butter Machine, and, uh, it's, it's a pretty decent aircraft, so we're just gonna be using the Cargo DHL version today. And, uh, let's... Let's go spawn here at Menorca. No, no, that's not Menorca. That's not what I clicked. I clicked you. Okay, then let me click you. Then, uh... Okay, there we go. Then we're gonna click a random gate. And then I'm gonna fast forward me going... Taking off, because this is gonna take a while. So, yeah. See you guys in a second. So you're coming in for a landing here at Menorca, let's say, and uh, you want to butter the aircraft. So for the A330, I suggest using about 160 knots on the autopilot, which would be about 155 knots. And um, that, or I guess 150 knots, whatever this plane wants, or whatever the autopilot wants, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I suggest doing about 160 knots. Uh, Trying to line up with the runway a while before you land, uh, I obviously, as you can see, came out kind of far to see, just so I could line up the runway. But you want to have the runway in sight. If it's dark, then try to at least look for the runway lights, as that would be your best guidance to the runway, or try to make the outline of the island, and then try to find the runway from there. So, when you're about to go here, you're going to want to turn on your landing lights, get everything else ready if you don't have everything else ready. And then you're going to want to get your gears down and make sure that you're going to be ready for it. So what you want to do now is you want to take off that and you want to manually control the throttles here. So here we go. We are now going to line up here, see if we can get about the center line here. And what you want to do is you want to really make sure that your callouts, like you're listening to your callouts. So here we go. Okay, and then when it tells you retard, retard, and then look at that. You then just slowly put the plane on the ground. Uh, I did, I did a really bad job of showing you guys slowly putting the plane on the ground. But, as you guys saw, we got a butter of a minus, like, 41 feet per minute or something like that. And it's not gonna, it's not always gonna be, like, the negative 17 feet per minute that I usually can sometimes get. But it sure will be decent to at least get a butter, so... Alright, so that tutorial was for the easier planes to land, which have the dual landing gear. But those are all Robux planes, essentially. You can't really get a dual landing gear plane that has only one landing or uh, that's free my goodness so now we're gonna show you guys the harder planes to butter now sometimes these planes i don't even butter because they're just they're just harder uh we're gonna use what plane let's use the fokker 100 for this one um 
so these planes that are smaller aircraft uh, are generally harder to butter, and it's kind of it's kind of obvious. You know, you don't have the other gear to really kind of put down as like your little uh, your little compression gear. This gear is like you only have one gear, and that's the way you, it's the gear you get. You know, you don't have another chance. You, it's just this gear. So we're gonna spawn here at Tybat. Uh, and of course, again, I'm gonna fast forward me doing all the boring stuff. Step into the unknown. This is where dreams are born. So now we're here at Tyvat, and uh, we're going to be going at about 155 in the autopilot, so about 150 knots uh, for the aircraft. And uh, we're going to we're gonna start our landing here. So of course, like every other aircraft, you want to do a decent descent, uh, not too steep of a descent down to the runway. Uh, I'm probably going to do a decently steep descent because I climbed a bit high, but it's fine whatever um and you're gonna get ready for landing of course so let's get the let's get the flaps and stuff set uh speed brakes are up or spoilers whatever you want to call them i do like the spoilers on this aircraft though these are in innovative kind of interesting little uh little spoiler ideas pretty interesting anyway um yeah you're gonna get yourself ready for landing i Probably get myself a bit ready for landing, uh, ready for landing a bit early, but that's fine. Well, now that I'm ready, I'll just get my gears out. Um, but here we go. So the aircraft is now ready for landing. We're gonna get the landing lights on too. What about that? So you can also use the poppy, the poppy lights, poppy lights, whatever they're called, as a guidance. Uh, I don't usually use them, but white means you're high. Two red and two white is what you want so that you're like on the glide path to the runway. And all red means you're too low, you're not gonna make the runway, or you're just, you know, you're not on the glide path. You might still make the runway with all reds, but you, you're just not on the glide path. Like right now, I'm on the glide path. Okay, but if I go a little bit lower, yeah, see now I'm a little bit lower. Uh, I'm not on the glide path anymore. Uh, which I'm not gonna stay on the glide path, as it's a bit easier to butter when you kind of, like, get to the runway a bit early. Alright. So listen to the call-outs. Alright. Alright, I was trying to get my autopilot, but I realized too late that it's not gonna work. Okay, I'm gonna go around, because I forgot that I had my autopilot set. So I'm gonna go around. Hold up again. Alright, we're back. Uh, we're lined up. Uh, if you do ever need to go around, you can, you know, if especially if you're just trying to specifically butter, it doesn't matter. You can go around or whatever. I had forgotten about my autopilot, so I had to go around. Uh, but yeah, if you do need to go around, you always can. Um, you know, just always remember to take your autopilot off, though, because autopilot can become a problem after you do your reverse thrust and everything. Because it'll try to keep you... It'll try to get you back up to the speed you set it at. So here we go. Here we go. So like that, yeah, you want to slowly bring the aircraft to the ground. Something I was not able to really show you guys with the A330. But you want to generally do what I did on the A330 and any generally smaller aircraft. Uh, as that's the easiest way to butter it, and, um, yeah, it's, it's really nice. It, it's really not too hard. I mean, you're definitely going to need practice, especially if you're new to the game, you're going to need practice doing that, because uh, landing is not the easiest in this game. But once you get kind of the hang of just landing in general, you can try to start, uh, you can try to start, you know, uh, bringing the, the plane close to the runway soon. Uh, to give you extra time if you need to, to, like, butter. 
Um, and you can start trying to butter, kind of doing what I was just showing you guys. Um, but yes, you do need the basics of generally how to land first. If not, this is not going to work at all because you guys are not going to be able to really feel the plane. You're not going to know how the plane works and be able to butter it. So you definitely want to get the basics of the landing done first before you actually try to, um, to, yeah, to just butter. Um, it's not too hard though once you get the basics of the landing uh, done and you should be able to hopefully get your butter pretty soon. Um, if you can, I do suggest buying aircraft like the A330 where they have uh, dual or triple gear because those make it a lot easier to butter on um, for obvious reasons. So if you can, then you know, and you even if you really like the game, of course, then you know, I suggest getting those aircraft as those aircraft are going to be a lot easier to use to butter. Um, yeah, uh, for the Eurofighter, it's generally the same thing. You're just going to have to be a lot more gentle and slower uh, for all military aircraft because it's going to be a lot harder to butter the military aircraft as they're meant for speed, not really um, passengers. And, then, you know, they're not really stuff. They're built for uh, speed and yeah, all that stuff. So if you do ever want to do a Eurofighter or whatever, you're going to have to be a bit careful what uh, when you do do the landing. Uh, did not, no, I didn't, whatever, close enough. Anyway, um, I hope this guy, this tutorial helped you guys, um, you know, hope you guys know how, to, how the basics of the landing work so that you can actually use this tutorial, and, uh, if you don't yet, then go learn that stuff, uh, and then come back to the tutorial, but, uh, if this tutorial does help you guys, then please leave like, subscribe, it does help me out. Uh, give me feedback if you have any other uh, ways of how to butter an aircraft that maybe are easier uh, or better explained because I don't think I explained it the best way. But if you guys can, if you guys have more, if you have any feedback actually at all, let me know down in the comments below. But uh, yeah, if this video did help me out, please do like, subscribe, and uh, join my Discord down below so you know when I post new videos like this one. But yeah, with that everyone, have a great day and I'll see you guys again next time. Goodbye.